Hello everyone. So today let me show you something uh, related to the D menu which I configured and I think it can be really useful. So if you if you remember few days back I made I think it was last week I made a video on uh, generating a thumbnail using FFmpeg. Now I have been uh, doing it for uh, for few weeks now and I think I'm I'm quite uh, happy and satisfied with uh, the outcome so normally when i make a video on uh, youtube i do few things of course i record the video and i do that using ffmpeg like like right now i am recording this video using ffmpeg and uh, it works really great i it took me a while to configure a few things because you have to write the script that will uh, uh, work really well for your setup and the main thing that i had to do was uh, uh, make sure the audio and the video and the desktop audio they are all in sync they there shouldn't be a major uh sync issues even right now in this particular video i believe there is like a minor half a second or quarter of a second delay but it it is still watchable and uh, and i'm satisfied with it but when i upload the video on youtube <clears throat> i also run a script uh, to generate uh, a thumbnail now I'll, I'll probably show you my script and I think I did talk about the script uh, uh, in my in my video so what I normally do is uh, when I whenever I have to uh, upload a thumbnail I try to always uh, bring in uh, some kind of a thumbnail so that it looks decent because without thumbnail videos look uh, really boring uh, in my opinion I mean you don't have to I mean uh, sometimes people can get away uh, with out a thumbnail if their video is amazing and uh, they already have a uh, lot of subscribers so in those cases people will watch their videos but i think when you have a thumbnail you can actually grab the attention of your potential viewers uh, and i think i prefer having a thumbnail now in this particular script what i do is i pass few arguments like i pass the title that i want like i have like two titles then i pass couple of images the first image is the main image like the base image which right like right now for example if i have to make a, a screenshot on uh, a thumbnail for script no for jia which is uh, a video series on my channel i have a i have the separate image called script no for jia then sometimes i also bring in a screenshot like if i have, if i have to maybe like if i'm talking about a specific feature of script no i may also include a screenshot then sometimes i also bring in uh, this cartoon character like front looking smile and then i pass in the colors here uh, these two colors so these two colors are really important here because based on the color like if i look at my thumbnails on my channel all the videos of scriptner they have some orangish color all the videos rela uh, related to jira cloud they are bluish in color and if i generate this uh, thumbnail let me just show you how this looks like i will show you this show you the thumbnail so this thumbnail if you if you look it looks quite decent and uh, uh, the main thing of course i am talking about here is uh, so the the base image for script now was this one with this uh, title on top then all the images or everything else uh, in this particular uh, thumbnail is uh, coming from the script that i am passing as an argument now the main challenge i have here is if you if you look at my script i have these two colors at the very end which i change based on the video i'm making so if i'm making a video on script now i have this color and it is hexadecimal color and i of course remember a lot of hexadecimal values but not all of them i think i remember like maybe five or six but uh, this one is slightly complicated so what i normally do is i of course maintain this list in in somewhere in a script which is obviously cumbersome because i don't really want to open the script or look inside a file i was looking for something quick to uh, find this information and i was actually watching uh, luke smith's video on d menu and i think uh, i think this is uh, what i was uh, looking for and it really solved my problem so thank you very much uh, luke so let me show you how it works so if i press uh, super c on my keyboard it will bring up this d menu uh, on top and i can I, I can do few things now i can actually select uh, the color like right now if i'm making a video on script now i can select the color here like uh, script no for jira and i can and by the way there is a message uh, because my dynasty is running so you can uh, take a look at i mean you, you can be sure that 
this has been copied i mean i think it, it is always good to get some indications but if i now paste it uh paste the hexadecimal value it is now coming from the coming from the uh, uh, selection that i just made and you can actually do it for any other color for example if i'm making a video on uh, let us say jira cloud i can do that and if you if you notice here this hexadecimal value 0000, 000 ff is now cop is now of course pasted and uh, uh, apart from of course selecting i can also type in here like if i want to search for uh, script runner i can type in here i mean if this list i believe can be very long and uh, i thought i'll probably uh, also include this option to uh, take the input from the user and also you know filter it further so if you have to do it it is actually very simple i think i did talk about this very briefly earlier but uh, let us do it again and uh, let me also open the script very quickly so that i can show you how this uh, script works it is actually a very simple script and i actually copied it from the luke smith's video uh so the first thing is is of course we have to read the file so let me just uh, uh read the file here and uh, then we will do something with those colors so i have a file called colors and uh, i am storing it i guess you can store it anywhere you want but i'm storing it in this uh, file called colors and this is this is a, as you can see a list of all the colors with new line like every every new line will have a new color along with uh, the uh, name or you know what this color is all about so hexadecimal, hexadecimal value and the color name uh, whatever i know uh, is relevant and then uh, i am uh, basically passing it to uh, d menu as it is so if you do something like this d menu it will immediately start uh, showing you these options on top now there are a few things that we can do uh, to improve it further like right now of course it is all horizontal horizontal in just one row which is not really ideal we want to change it we want to actually oh by the way uh, if you want you can select it and it will work but the thing is that you can also type in something here like you know if i type in here ravi sagar it will show uh, oh, it is actually filtering so the thing is that it will only filter based on the i mean the case uh, i want the case to be in it shouldn't be case sensitive so you can also do a few things like uh, hyphen i so that uh, if you even if you type uh, sagar in uh, small uh, letters it will still work and uh, apart from that if you want this to appear vertically you can you can do something like hyphen l and then uh, i think uh, i think 20 is i believe the uh, i believe it is the height i think i need to figure out this but basically hyphen l and then this number will make it vertical and by the way of course as always if you're not sure about uh, something always take a look at the manual because uh, this will tell you so okay so this is something that you can see here that uh, okay so number of lines d menu list items vertically with the given number of lines okay makes sense i guess if we do something like 200 it will or oh, right now i don't truly really think uh, i mean we don't really have 200 lines but eventually we can okay so i guess uh, so now I, if i pass into it will only show two lines so now we know i also learned something right now now this is all good and i think 20 is fine and uh, what i will do now i will then uh, uh, do something with that particular uh, uh, i mean let us say if i select here uh, this is a great, great thing about the menu the moment you make a selection here it will give you this this output here uh, and you can then do something with it like uh, maybe you can uh, do awk and uh, you can then filter the first uh, first uh, line or not the line but the first uh, word uh, based on the uh, delimiter which is space so you, so if you do this is this is something that you don't have to worry about awk will do, do it for you so basically if you do dollar one it will uh, basically give you the color and that is what you need and you need this color to basically be stored in a variable or maybe you can send it to x clip for, ex for example if i do something like x, x clip it will or oh, not not this x clip <clears throat> so you can do let us say we have to make a video and we need a color for jira cloud i can do this this i mean select this and uh, it is now copied and if i now paste it here uh, you can see this uh, color pasted here and uh, let us try it for maybe one more color maybe ravi sagar primary color and uh, now you can see this color uh with you 
you can actually copy to the clipboard and when you're making when you're uh, writing those commands you can actually do these these things very quickly so uh, the, if you look at the script the script is doing exactly the same thing of course i'm just uh, storing this in a color variable and i'm doing it because i want to also send this to my uh, my notification because i i think it's, it looks good and i'm i'm of course uh, calling this uh, script based on a shortcut so let me show you my f x h k r no f x f x h k d r c it's a bit difficult to pronounce but uh, if you look at this uh, f x f x h k d r c file uh, this is where you can store all the shortcuts to call those scripts quickly so the script that i am referring to is colors nothing else and uh, of course all the scripts are in my path um but um if it is not then make sure that you have the uh you have the proper path i no, normally what i do when i'm uh, working with my scripts i also so basically all i, I keep all, all my scripts in a specific directory which i simply link to my local bin so that uh, i don't have to and and this local bin is uh, in my path so whenever i write a new script i actually write it in my you know actual directory which is uh, like in projects so my shell scripts and then the actual scripts where i also properly do version control for them but that particular folder is also sim linked to the local bin so that i can uh, so so that i can um, make sure that i don't have to worry about uh, these scripts calling these scripts from anywhere so if you look here i'll probably do ls iphone alt so this is uh, you know this bin directory is my nothing but my shell script directory and and that is it that is it uh, i wanted to actually show you this because i think it is really cool and uh, thank you thank you once again uh, luke smith for this really nice idea